Good morning, everyone. I hope you're having a great day. Welcome back to my channel and another vlog. I'm just leaving the gym. This is proof that I <laughs> went to the gym today and did a workout. I was thinking it would be fun to do a little day in the life vlog, but we're starting post gym because I had to wake up early today in order to make it to the gym. And I just feel like the whole getting up out of bed, beginning of the morning vibes is just super awkward to film anyway. So we're skipping that part and we're starting from after my workout. This this was my first time to the gym in like probably a week because I was in LA all last week working at the Oscars and pretty much only went on walks. And so I'm really proud of myself for going. That was a good workout. Just kind of got to ease back into things, you know? Today we're making a really exciting video for my favorite protein powder company, IsoPure. I'm doing like a spring smoothie bowl for them and I'm going to add edible flowers on the top. I'm so excited. As much as I don't like daylight savings in the spring, the good thing about it is it stays lighter longer. It finally is starting to feel like spring and the weather's warming up and so I'm really excited to make this spring smoothie bowl today. But we've got a couple other fun activities planned for the day and I'm gonna bring you, oh dang it. We've got a few other fun activities planned for the day. Dang it. If you're excited about this vlog, give it a big thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and join the best family ever. tonight and I'm pretty sure that there's dinner at it so I'm not gonna need to make dinner. <laughs> well at least we have dinner for tomorrow. Okay I am showered and ready. It is time to film our spring smoothie bowl. I'm so excited about this one. We're gonna do a green smoothie bowl and then top it with all of those colorful edible flowers and it's gonna be so happy. are so big. But y'all, this protein powder is so good. It makes your smoothie bowls so creamy and thick. It has 25 grams of protein and zero fat and zero carbs. So this is the real deal. This part, I always have to film super fast because if I don't, the smoothie bowl starts to melt. And now, I have to move you back over here. Cause I filmed the swirl over at this counter. The lighting's a little better. I'm just gonna give it a little granola base. And now the flowers. Oh my gosh, look at how cute these are. Wow, this is so fun. Famous spin. And we gotta get a picture of it before we dive in. Oh, it looks so good. This is the best part. Yum, perfect. And that's it. this little business course right now. It's 12 weeks long and that starts in about 15 minutes. So I'm making myself a cup of coffee and then I'm gonna do my Duolingo because we're learning French this year before our meeting starts. Oh, this milk looks so good. You guys, I think we might be able to do it today. A little thing go 
going? We did that. Oh, that makes me so happy. All right, meeting is over. Now I'm starving, it's lunchtime, and I think I'm gonna have leftovers. Chandler and I have actually been pretty creative with our dinners this week. On Monday, we made homemade gyros in little pita pockets with the homemade tzatziki sauce, and so I think I'm gonna have the leftovers of that. And then yesterday, we made these Korean beef bowls with yum yum sauce, which was also super great. And I'm kind of craving the gyros, so we're gonna heat up our little pita. All the TikTok ban has been all the buzz today. So if you're here from TikTok and have just recently followed my channel, welcome. I really hope it doesn't get banned, but it's not looking super great right now. Now I'm literally just gonna take some food scissors and cut this in half. This is what we did on Monday. It opens up into a little pocket and you can stuff it with all the yummies, except I'm gonna heat this up a little bit so it's nice and toasty. Oh! <laughs> when I was in LA, Chandler tried to steam a potato in the microwave and I told him before that they only need to go in for like six minutes max. We have this little potato bag, which, yeah, he threw it away. He put the potato in the microwave, you guys, for 20 minutes. It lit it on fire and I think it singed the potato bag. So I just opened the microwave and it smelled so bad. Oh, we're gonna have to air that out. Men, you can't leave them alone. This is our like Greek marinated chicken strips. And I've got some tomatoes and onions in here. This tzatziki sauce is really great. It's like basically Greek yogurt with cucumbers, garlic. What else is in there? Salt lemon juice. I kinda don't remember what else is in there, but it's really yummy and adds some extra protein to your dish. So I'm just gonna fill this up and give it a nice little generous filling. Add some of my chickens. Top it with some tomatoes and onions. Then you can top this with more tzatziki or some parsley leaves. Give a little garnish, but yum. Yum. All right, we're headed out of the house because we're actually running a little bit late to an event. We don't know exactly what this event is. All we know is that it's on the rooftop of one hotel downtown. It's like a, a new, is it tequila? <laughs> we literally don't even know what it is. It's two guys from Breaking Bad. They came out with this new, it's some kind of alcohol. I think it's tequila. And we're going to go learn how to make some drinks. But this was the event I was telling you about that I'm not sure if they have food at. And so we have a dinner option prepared in the fridge just in case. We're here, but we're stuck in the line of cars trying to turn into the valet. I think everyone's coming to this event, and we still don't know what it is. Okay, we made it. Beautiful location. We're kind of confused. We don't know the situation. We might, we might go try to find a snack. We do have to get you back there for breaking that though. that event we stayed for like an hour there was a lot going on um but it was really fun we basically just sat on that couch and ate all the snacks now um we're home because we're starving and we're making this chicken satay which was the idea i had at the grocery store i didn't show you this part but we made this lovely little marinade for the chicken before we left so it was marinating in all of its glory while we were at the event it's like soy sauce coconut milk a lot of curry spices chili powder turmeric coriander do you remember what else you put in this sugar a little bit of brown sugar what else do we have salt pepper salt pepper lots of yummy stuff it's looking mighty tasty we're gonna get that going here on the cast iron and then i'm going to get some veggies going we're gonna do some cabbage we're gonna have some carrots and then we have some cilantro they're gonna be super colorful bowls and then chandler's got some rice going to be honest you guys i don't think i've ever purchased a head of cabbage i may have purchased like a green cabbage for something but i've never made coleslaw or anything so i think this is my first cabbage is it just dyed lettuce no <laughs> Cabbage is like its own vegetable. It's pretty bitter though. I think so you just- Are eating it fresh or I raw? I think you just cut it in half, right? <laughs> you know how people slice it and make like the little thin things you see in coleslaw? I just cut this in half, right? Someone confirm before I do this. You are the chef. I am the chef. See, I feel like that's half the thing. You just have to act like you know what you're doing and then people believe you. Hey, I'm gonna cut this in half. <laughs> look at that, you guys, it looks like a brain. That's what I imagined my brain to look like. Should I shave it this way or should I shave it this way? Cause this, the pit is what's distracting me or confusing me. I say just do it like a lemon. Or not a lemon, uh, uh, onion. This way? No. But this is... This way. I see. Okay. 
to be honest it's the exact same thing as the other way that looks right though i feel like that's what I normally see in bowls and salads and stuff. We yeah. just need a little bit. We don't need yeah, a ton. That's, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> is cabbage good for you? I don't even like cabbage. I feel like it would be with how purple it is. It's gotta have a lot of vitamins in it. it smells like water. Is this not the largest grocery bag you've ever seen in your whole life? Do you remember that game you used to play when you were a kid called Elephant with the trunk that was like really long and it blew out butterflies? Yeah. And you had to catch them? That's what that just reminded me of. Now we have two carrots and I'm just gonna cut these on a, there's a fancy term that I learned when I competed on Next Level Chef. You cut them on a bias. Cutting them on the bias means you like kind of cut them at a diagonal and it makes these like little chunks and they look like little these. How about last night's episode of Next Level Chef, you guys? First time in the top kitchen, it was quite a time. To be honest, I did not like it. I did not like the top kitchen. I felt like it was too much pressure. I just felt like a lot of pressure. I honestly thought that that might be the day I'd go home because I didn't really feel that great about my steak dish. I was worried about how I cooked it and my potatoes didn't work like I wanted them to. I just didn't love my experience in the top kitchen. All right, it's time to assemble. I'm gonna start off with a nice heaping serving of a jasmine rice for our base. Now we're gonna get some of our chicken satay. Look how good, y'all. This chicken turned out so good. You did such a good job, Chandler. Oh, I forgot about the carrots, thank you. We're gonna set it right here. Yeah, it looks so good. I tried a bit and it's delicious. Now we're gonna add in our colors. Got a little bit of cabbage. Guys, this is gonna be Bussin. We should start a series, dinner time with Chandler and Nicole, and just do vlogs of us making dinner for each other. Comment down below if you would like that series because I low-key think that would be so fun. Or if you want us to come cook for you. Or that, Chandler is offering to fly us to you. To, these are for me, save some for me. Um, To cook dinner for you. We're gonna do a little spritz of lime juice just to give it a little pop of acidity. Okay. Organic peanut sauce. I'm just gonna do like a light drizzle. We're gonna add a little lime for decor. Wait until y'all get a close up of this. You're gonna die. Look at that beauty. Oh my gosh. We're about to dig into this so hard. That was one of my favorite dinners we've ever had. Literally best chicken I think we've ever cooked, don't you? You've ever cooked. <laughs> we're washing dishes right now. Um, and we're also finishing up Gilmore Girls. We just finished all of the seven original series, or seven original seasons, and now we're watching the last two episodes of the newer season, and then we're done. So I'm gonna get us a little snack and put some ice cream in our little mini and Mickey bowls so that we can end our night with a little ice cream. We've got Tillamook, the best ice cream brand in the world. Someone convinced me otherwise. Tillamook is actually from Oregon, where my parents went on their honeymoon, and Chandler found this dark chocolate cookies and cream, which is so good. But we don't have that much of it left, so we're gonna do a little bit of vanilla with it too. Mm. Did my arm work out for the day. Amazing. All right, grab your ice cream. Let's go. I hope that you liked this little day in the life vlog. You got more than me. No, I didn't. You have just as much. I gave you more of the chocolate because I knew you'd like that one better. I promise. I hope you liked this little day in the life Makes vlog. Makes me clean all dishes. <laughs> then skip me I some ice cream. I'll give you more. And you get all. Why didn't you put? Why didn't you put cookie dough in mine? Why'd you do it yours? You were gonna say it's stale. You don't like things that are stale. It's been in there forever. Oh, okay, yeah. It's been the. <laughs> Freezer. Take hazard. three. Well, I hope you love this little no, day. All that in there. That's real, <laughs> yeah. real BTS. No, I know, but I have to start my sentence over. No, that's real BTS. People need to know. The world needs to know. Stop. I hope you love this the day. The public in is <laughs> Stop. I hope you love this little day in the life vlog. It was kind of chaotic, but thanks for coming along with me. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already part of the family. We love you guys so much, and we'll see you next week. Bye.